Hello, good evening. This is Jess with Real World Nails. I am coming to you tonight to talk to you a little bit about um, product shrinking back. I know we've had some questions about people and they say their Luxio is shrinking back. So there's a couple of things that can cause this. If you're base gel, so if you're using Luxio base or you're using um, you know, natural or even um, enhance and you're not curing it properly, it's going to be slipperier and a slippery surface is going to shrink back. If you're using a lamp that's not um, an accents lamp or not the correct lamp for what you're doing, that's also going to cause shrinking back. If you have a brand new bottle, this is Sophisto that I'm applying on my client right now. Um, if you have a brand new gel, I'm just going to show you with Polar because it's definitely the easiest one to not shake enough. And so what happens with Polar is, and any color really, when it's brand new, do you see that marbling right there on the surface? It's kind of hard to see. I'm going to try to get it. There we go. Do you see how it marbles right there? That is clear mixed with your color and your pigment. And when it's brand new, it needs mixed much better. See that bluing in there? That's all just different pigment um, and gel and it's not mixed properly. If you don't mix this properly and you go to apply it, you're going to end up applying a lot of clear and not as much pigment. And when you have all that clear, it's going to shrink back and you're not going to get a nice smooth application. Because when you apply this, this is applied over uh, natural on her because she goes at least four weeks between. So I typically will use natural. Um, and it's a great base for color. It color really just does not shrink um, on natural. It's just, it's the right kind of sticky. Um, one of the tricks that you can do is if you're noticing um, someone uh, that specifically just because of the shape of their nails, you tend to notice it slipping more. What you can do is you can actually dry wipe the nail quickly. And what that is, is you just take a wipe with just a little tiny bit of gel cleanser and just touch it, the surface. That's it. You don't want to scrub it. You just want to touch the surface and it might leave a little bit of lint, which is a big pain in the butt. Um, so you can use soft landings if you would like. Um, those are awesome uh, lint-free wipes. I have those on Love Nails as well if you want to try some soft landings. And just dry wipe the nail before you apply it. And what that does is it will take off a little bit of that tack. There's a piece of lint, see? Lint, pain in the butt. It'll take off a little bit of that tacky residue. Oh, she touched something. Real world nails, friends. All right. And it looks like... I don't think I was, I was messing with my phone, so this gel moved on gravity a little tiny bit because I wasn't turning the light on. So I'm just going to check it, make sure it's shaped how I want it to be. Pull that up a little bit for you guys. Um, trying to think and talk at the same time. Okay, so if you quickly dry wipe that nail... Uh, your bonding gel, your base coat, whatever it is you're putting under your color that seems to be causing a little slipperiness, it's going to take some of that slick away, and when you apply it, it's not going to shrink back. But as you can see, see there's no shrinking on this. So there's a lot of stabilizers. Go and put that in. There's a lot of stabilizers in Luxio that um, were designed specifically because when uh, other products had come out and Luxio, we were still testing it and we were purposely testing Luxio when the other gel polishes came out because we wanted to hear the feedback about other gel polishes and what um, were driving people crazy about other gel polishes. And one of those was how often people had to shake them and try to mix the gel all of the time. And the other one was shrinking. Um, and so Accents, because they have their own chemists and everything is developed in-house, added more stabilizers to the product so that it doesn't have to be shaken quite as often and uh, it also doesn't um, shrink back as much. So those are a couple of tricks to help with your shrinking. Um, always the number one is going to be shaking it. Sometimes if it's a color I haven't touched in a long time, I'll grab it off the shelf as soon as my client knows what it is that she wants to wear. And I'll just flip it upside down in my lap and just hold it upside down in my lap. Um, 
just between my knees. And the reason for that is because I want the pigment to just come off the bottom of the bottle. So when I do give it a quick shake, um, it blends really quickly. So I tend to do that also with my effects top coats, which is really the reason I was getting on here tonight to do a quick video is because I haven't gotten to show you guys the effects top coats and I love them so much. So I thought I would just spend this time as well talking about shrinking because I know it's a, a big topic of dis discussion. Um, also, because I always finish file the edge and you don't have to, um, I must have gotten something on that because it was doing something weird. Um, because I always finish file the very edge of the nail at the very end of my service, you don't have to worry about any kind of um, seal being broken you can have a hairline shrink back and it's not going to matter because I'm always going to be filing that you know the very end of the nail anyway so if I do get a little bit of a hairline shrink back I'm not going to freak out because like say right here there's a little tiny bit that's not you guys see that little tiny hairline I'm going to be filing the very end of this at the very end of the service anyway so you don't have to worry about it it's real world folks okay so this is Silver Effects. This is a real, you know, salon bottle, so it's a little bit crazy. Um, oh, sorry, the Luxio color, thanks Jessica, she texted me, I actually got to see that, is Sophisto. Uh, this is a gorgeous fall color. It's got a really good look to it. Um, so this is the Luxio Silver Effects top coat, and if I can get this to focus, there we go. These effects top coats are built into the top coat, so I know a lot of people buy it and they don't realize that they don't have to top coat after they use it. It's this gray color bottle, which is the same as the gray color regular gloss because that way you know that it is a top coat. Whereas if you are using the base coat, the base coat is a dark gray, and then of course your colors are black. So each bottle is color coded, so you kind of know what it is just from the label. So this is the Silver Effects top coat. Um, we have silver, gold, which is Gorgeous. I use a ton of it um, at Christmas time. The copper is really pretty also. Um, pink, blue, purple. They all have this shimmer. The purple almost has a, it gives, you know, colors an iridescent look, which is really cool. Um, I love the purple over pink. It's really beautiful to do and um, always really fun. So again, these effects top coats, they are UV LED, so 30 seconds in a LED lamp or um, two minutes in a UV lamp. Now I have noticed that if you're not using an accents lamp, you know, the strength of um, LED lamps are not created equal. And I've noticed with some people that if they're using a different kind of LED lamp, these turn out shinier if you cure for a minute instead of 30 seconds. Um, I don't know if it's the sparkle or just the lamp situation, um, but if you're not using an accents lamp, try to just go ahead and cure this for a minute, and that way you get the best out of your shine. So this is um, Silver Effects over Sophisto. Gorgeous and easy, and because it is the top coat, she'll be good to go after this. So, Cherie, I see you say that your shrinking is worse at the cuticle and sidewall areas. Typically, that is either A, the situation, and that's going to be the, the normal, you know, you're going to get shrinking all the way around because it's pulling into the middle of the nail. Um, some people, if they have a really high arch to their natural nail or, you know, you're just their whole C-curve is really high. They tend to notice shrinking on those kind of customers more. Also, shrinking is gonna be more noticeable on colors that have a clear base. So colors like Diva um, is a really dark, rich red that has a clear base. And that one, if you don't you know, mix it really well, um, people will notice more shrinking on that. But it's also really, really good to do ombres with Diva or anything with a clear base. It blends really nicely. Um, but I do notice that if you're going to get shrinking on that first coat, typically it's going to be something more with a clear base than, um, not so, but as far as shaking goes, I can, um, grab a color off my rack that I haven't used in a long time. And, um, you'll see that it separates on some colors, but other colors especially ones that have a little bit of a shimmer in them, like this is Captive, 
and this is a blue. This doesn't separate. I mean, I, you pretty much never need to shake this one. I never see any separation. It never shrinks. It's really easy to apply all the time. Same with Potion, which is an amazing, um, well, Seduction's a good one, um, an amazing fall color. These ones have a pearlescent to them, and really, I maybe do two pounds in my hand, and that's it. For and this is seduction. This is an amazing fall color, um, and that's it. And you're you're good to go. So it, the creams you're gonna have to shake a little bit more than your frosts, um, but you're gonna have no problem with uh, the separation very much with your your frosty kind of colors. So. I'm just going to finish this, so I'll do this since there's quite a few on here today. This is how I'm finishing my 30-day manicure, is I just go from the tip all the way around the side. So I want to always get the perimeter side, front, side, and I'm just making sure that there's no top gloss that has um, kind of seeped over the sides. I want to make sure that it's a nice, sharp, smooth nail along the sidewalls and along the free edge here. I'm going to go ahead and put the effects, all of them together in a kit. So if you are wanting to get um, the effects top coats, I will go ahead and put them together in a kit for you and discount it if you get all of the top coats at one time because they're awesome and you will definitely use them. They last a long time because each bottle I think Accent says each bottle of color lasts for about 30 services. I would say minimum because I have colors. Um, like this is my old bottle of Sophisto and you can see that it's a matte um, bottle and those are old labels. It's been around forever and I switched to the new one um, just recently so I still have that. Am I worried about breaking the seal? Thank you, Jessica. Uh, no. I am not. Accents products work fantastic. And I feel like a lot of times companies will say, oh, did you break the seal? You must get it. You must be getting lifting because you broke the seal. You must be getting lifting because you broke the seal. And it's, you know, kind of an excuse of why am I having this problem? And they blame it on breaking the seal. I do this on every single client all day long. And they're not, there's no seal to be broken. The product is attached from the bottom up. Um, I would worry about it if I was doing like a chrome um, process, but hi, Svetlana. Um, if I was doing a chrome nail, definitely you have to worry about, you know, a seal and finishing around the pigment and making sure the pigment's going to stay on the nail really well. But as far as um, breaking the seal with just color, it's, you, you don't have to worry about it. I have clients that will file their nails in between services because they go a month and sometimes they do have to shorten them. Um, I've had clients that have been piano players or rock climbers and for one reason or another they need to shorten them in between. So I'll teach them, I'll give them their file and I will teach them to hold their file underneath the nail when they file it and not lean forward because if you lean forward you're going to bald your color and then they come back and their nails are going to look awful. So if they have to file their nails in between, it's fine. Just teach them how to do it properly and then they're happy and you're happy and they don't come back looking like a hot mess. But most of the time, my clients don't want to touch their nails in between services, so they just leave them me. But teach them how to do it from underneath their nail so that they don't make it look awful. Um, but like my lovely client here, she goes, you know, four to six weeks um, without a problem. And she'll wear dark colors. She's not worried about grow out. People become less worried about grow out once they have used it. So... Um, so I will be putting the discount for the effects, top coats, making the kit for that. I'll work on that tonight. I have to write an article for Nail Pro, but I will work on that sometime before I go to bed. I still have one more client tonight, um, but I will get around to that. I will put it on my website, lovenails.com, and there's a new section on there called YouTube. And you can go there and um, click on the um, kits, the video kits, and you can see pictures of the nails that I've done in these videos so hers will be on there and I'll talk about the effects top coats um, I'll have Sophisto and what I used on her specifically on her own picture but then I will put together a kit for you guys if you're wanting the effects 
And um, when I do video kits like I did for the Auroras, I give you guys 10% off if you get the set. So I can do that for you and we'll get that out to you. All right, and then I always use lap towel and this wipes off any extra, you can hear it squeak. It wipes off any extra gel that might be on the surface of the nail. It rubs the oil into where I've just dried everything out from alcohol. And then I can wipe any excess off of their fingers like that. Beautiful fall colors of the stove. All right. There you go, my friends. Sophista with Top Gloss Effects Silver. All right, thank you for joining me. Have a good one. Bye.